Hello there, uh, here is the Life Alinto, and I'm here to show you the baking functionality recently implemented on Cycles in Blender. If you're not familiar with this website, you definitely should check it out. It's a, the Blender developer blog, where on early February, I actually I wrote up a teaser of what we are building up. Here you can actually see Caminandes, uh, Caminandes main character, Koro baked so for the well baking which is basically taking all the light contributions in the mesh and laid out in a texture where you can just use and yeah well, I'll just check it out later what I want to show you is how to set up your blender file or cycle file to benefit from baking so let's start with a fresh blend file and this is not in your uh, latest blend, stable blender, the 2.69, 7, but it's going to be in the 2.71, so you can get it on the builder.blender. Uh, it doesn't matter. So here's our regular uh, cycles file. Let's just add a material here. Uh, nothing special. Let's just add a. Let's go to the material on the object. And simply let's add a node that. Uh, use nodes and just let's add just any texture on it one of the built ones let's say the brick ones using that a lot go here so if you now go back to the rendered mode we get to see the the tiles of the bricks we can increase the sky the scale decrease just add some color so nicer on the demo um, let's change the mapping as well. So let's put on the UV and do some smart UV wrapping. It doesn't really matter. That's fine for us. So if you now use this as an input for the render uh, texture coordinates, UV both vector. Okay, let's just change this to. Oops. That's fine. So let's say, let's assume this is the final. I just add something else. I'll just add a plan here. Oops. Just adding up to the scene. We have, we have a, we have a plan here as well. Okay. Um, as well have Susan. Let's just add a torus. How is this scene so far? Yeah, not very appealing, but it's fine. Let's use ambient occlusion to make everything brighter. Okay, that's fine. So what what we have here is that the cube has lighting lighting come from lighting coming coming from the, the sun or the light the lamp I have has some color coming from the torus, some shadowing all around this this preset of texture. And if you ever want to have this object in a game, you cannot because it basically the the game engine needs to have all the information to, to reproduce this tex texture and lighting. So baking allows you to just have your object always with the light uh, baked, so you can always receive it. So how to bake it? First, let me just save it somewhere. Uh, we then there called demo video so <clears throat> if I just go here and press bake oops, it's going to tell me there is no active image found on material zero which is the material named material what does that mean it means that from all, all the materials we have in this object for fun being let's just change this this is the cube material uh, bricks bricks so if I say that, if I, if I bake it again, it's going to tell me that the material zero, which is bricks, doesn't have any active image. What is an active image? If you go to the material and just go shift A and add a texture, image texture, and let's say you create one in Blender, bake map. No alpha, let's decrease this to 500. 
Okay, now set this image here as my image texture in the image texture node and have it selected. So, and I'll press big. Now, this material and each material can have a texture uh, assigned to it. Um, now, as, as soon as I press big, you, you, you could see the, the progress bar on top, just telling that something was going on. And now you can see the bacon here, let just see the the map that we just baked. You can see there's a, the shadowing on the bottom, there's some shadowing, some lighting going on here. So now if I, if I just change the texture mode, and if I just take this object, isolate it, you know it has all the lighting information with it. Yep. So even if you go to the game engine, no, game engine need to change something, but it doesn't matter. So we have the Pretty much, you just bake the all, all the information of the scene. Let just for the sake of it, let's do this for the rest as well. So, just make this smooth, it's gonna look better. And here we don't have just add an object. Go here, add an image texture, and then go and add the bake map. Oh, not the bake map. Let's just add another one. Uh, yeah. Thoros. Same size, might as well. Thoros. So, but but let's look a little bit to the let's let's look at the options here just before we bake it. Yeah. Okay. So by default, Blender is baking the combined pass, which includes uh, all the lighting, color, subsurface scattering, the glossy, all the shaders, ambient occlusion, shadow. But you can just bake, for instance, the ambient occlusion for this object. And it's baking, baking map saved. Uh, I'm missing something, just a second. What? Isn't that the Taurus? Yeah. Go here. And I just do the combine, it doesn't matter. I have a feeling something is not working for the. Well, anyway, I think I just found a bug for the Thoros. This one is still working, right? Yeah. So never mind the Thoros. I'm just going to remove it. So we have combined. Let's just see, for example, the UV. UV doesn't do much. Let's see. It just um, the UV coordinates in the image space. But it doesn't matter. What matters for you? That's the easiest way to test if the map is correct, if the UV is correct, if the image is properly set. Because it's very quick to, to, to bake the UV, so you can already see if things are going to work. Then you can go to more advanced baking. Uh, we can bake normals, which by default bake the tangent. This is not very useful on its own, it's more useful either when you have a multi-res or object normal space. Just mapped. Uh, let's do what else? What else? Shadow, normal, emit, UV, glossy, and go on, go on. What else I want to show here? Well, now a few options. So let's just save this file. I'm going to open another sample file here. And cycles, going to have the multiple high low. Yeah. No, oh, sorry. This one here. Yeah. So this is a few different uh, test files I have. Just, show, just to show uh, different options. So let's say one of my objects, this object here, has two materials. So each face has a different material. You can just select and, and go to the left one and select select the <coughs> other one. And each um, each of them has a different. So this in they also have a different material. So one is the left fold, the other is the right fold. And in a more realistic example, you might have. 10 cars that you just join together in one single object and you want to bake them all together. So the nice thing here is that on, on this case, both of the materials, they are using the same image. In this case, the full image, the name of the image. So if I just go here and bake, it's going to bake the combine. No file is selected. Oh, okay. Sorry. And 
It's let me let me, let, let me make it uh, brighter. Just just gonna make the diffuse color. Okay. As you can see here, even though we had two materials, both of materials mapped to the same image, no problems. But what happens if you have two materials? But each material is actually mapping to a different image. So this material here is using this image, the other one is using this other image. Okay. And as you can see, each of the materials get properly populated. Just to be clear, this is no different than what the Blender internal baking can do. Just we have this following the cycles uh, design, which means the same thing we do for project painting, the same thing we do for the viewport to see what's the active texture to it is you just take the, the material of the object and which image texture node is currently selected so this is the most basic one you have one material the material has one image you just press bake if you scroll. so we can see we have a few options here uh, clear clear basically clears the whole texture before prior to, to, to to baking. So if you go here and you paint it and you press clear, it's just gonna wipe it out the whole thing. But then let's in this case here where you're using both textures and if I paint as well I'm gonna paint both of them. Could paint I guess you can just paint here too. Texture paint, just paint it. Okay. Okay. Now we have both let's paint here as well. Now if I bake this image and clear clear is not selected, it's only gonna replace the parts the, the part that the, the, the part of the image that belong to the UV. So in this way that means you can have multiple objects mapped to the same image and you bake them one at a time and by doing so you make sure you just clear for the first one and then for the other others you have the the map building up. We have something else here, which is two images. Let's do this one. Here. We have um, two objects, which one is representing a high poly object, the other one is representing the low poly. So we're gonna bake from the high poly to the low poly. And let's select here, select here. So the active one, the last one is selected, it's the low poly. Uh, the active one doesn't need to have the image texture, just a regular material with a brick at texture. To see in the rendered view, it's a nice yellowish brick. Now, big to the active. The active one doesn't need this material here. Just gonna remove it. Doesn't even need the fuse. Just need the image texture to it, which is in this case the fall. So if I just bake here, it's not gonna work. You just see a black thing because I'm actually the active one doesn't really have a material. But we don't want to bake the active one, we want to bake from the selected, which is the high poly to the active one. So you go to this option here, and yeah, uh, as soon as you press bake, you see here that we have a yellow thing mapped to the the low poly one, which is the one on the the one on, on, on the on the bottom. Uh, this is not you know, it's very common to do uh, combined layers. You can also do normal layer, which they call the normal map. So as you can see here, this is the normal map on the of the top one, baked to the bottom one. And if I bake with the clear enabled, we have this classic and uh, bluish background. And the other thing we have here is a uh, distance. So let's keep it a zero. That's the default distance. In this case, when I do select it's active and just press bake it just doesn't show anything let's do if the remember I told you to use a UV let's use the UV is the quickest one to see it's easy to see if something's wrong clearly none of the rays going from the low poly object here to the high poly object this is better explained on the wiki I have this on the wiki here's wiki.blender.org index doc dot 2.6 manual render cycles and bake. I explained here the selected to active so we can read it later but the basic idea is that we have rays coming from the low poly object uh, inward the normal trying to find a high poly object 
so we can set up a distance. So if I try to do this from, let's go to point, point 10, for instance. No, it's still not good. I don't remember the. Still not good. Let's do one. Jesus Christ. Uh, that's that's a demo effect which should be working. Uh, let's just. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna open the file again. And I'm just gonna use the top one. Let's see if it works. Normal did work. Let's just load the UV. Yeah. Funny thing that this one should work as well. Nope. Maybe this scale needs to be higher. I think the normals is. It doesn't matter. Here, no, no, no. See, you should always test your sample files before you try to show something. I think the normals are, are backwards. Let's just see it. Normals. Oop, it's going up. Meaning it should, something is not doing, I don't really care about it right now. Anyways, selected to active works if you have this one on top of it. But this is the active one. And it tries to... Ah, that's actually is, is enough to show. This one you're trying to cast rays from this plane here. All the way down to, to face the this object here, and then it's yeah. I think there's a bug here. The other option is cage. It's gonna po show quickly. Basically, if I wanted to render big this to this one, remember remember it's not showing anything because it's not uh, it's not hitting. I don't need to clear. But what we can do instead is to actually take this object here, it's called cage. Cage. I give up on this demo, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, I don't know what's wrong with this file. Anyways, uh, we saw different passes, different baking functionalities. The thing I want to show you how easy it is to take uh, an existing file and just set it up for baking. So the file I'm going to be using now oops, is the Caterpillar. This Caterpillar was designed by Pataz, Pataz Studio, Pataz Studio, by Daniel Salazar and Sarah. I don't know her last name. And they made it for the Gooseberry teaser. And as you can see here, the well, it's a well-modeled mesh, but this object has five mat different materials. So remember, if you just go and try to bake it, it's going to complain that it doesn't have no active image found in material one, which the hair, a body actually does have, the hair doesn't. So how do we do? It's very easy and actually very quick. Just go to the node editor here. La, la. And then go one by one. Actually, let's just let's create the, the image. UV image. Let's create a new one. Oh, big. Okay. Now we add here image texture. set to be the big one and we need to do the same for all the materials kind of yes and no if you just hit ctrl c or command c on mac and go to the hair press ctrl v go to the nails press ctrl v feet ctrl v eyes back ctrl v now they all have a material and it's all the same so it's really fast 
Now just go here and as I said let's just first first do the UV. Uh, no active image found in material three feet. Okay, I think I, I had to I had to click after that doesn't matter. I'll just see. Oh it's bacon. Now even though the UV is the quickest one, since this uh you no know, some complex character it actually might take even just to go over all the faces of this character might take some time. And meanwhile I'm just gonna need to wait. Let me show an image in the meantime. I'll just wait a bit. For those of you using CUDA, you cannot do you cannot use uh, GPU for baking right now. Okay, there we go. And look how how cute you actually get to, to the baked image automatically is displayed on the viewport because the viewport. Oops, and that's why it's not working as well. So the because the viewport is actually always. Uh, Using the the same criteria to, to decide on which texture to show. My my hard drive is really ah oh, the video is, is running low so I need to wrap it up. But you can see here and you can bake anything else and actually I baked before I'm just gonna show you here and just replace the image by you know it's closer to the final thing. This even though I did a very low sample render. But you can just from increase the resolution, you can just increase the sample here. Fanny, whatever. And if you want to change the size of the image, when whenever it's an internal image, if you just create it, after you create, you can quickly just go here in the image panel and just change it to whatever. And this is gonna be used for baking. Uh, that's about it. Um, I hope you like it. I hope you, you you use it. And let me know how it works. Have a good time.